Hi guys, Steve here, and on this video we'll be going over skill points and which engrams I think are most important to learn, especially as a solo player. Let's start with the skill points. This is just for you to use as a guide, but you can pick which ones you wish. You're always going to need a good amount of health, as the more you have, the harder you are to kill. Stamina is important because it helps you run, swim, mine and farm longer. You don't really need to put points into oxygen anymore, as you can learn to make scuba gear later on, and with the points you saved can be put somewhere else. I don't bother putting any points into food or water, as you can just carry more with you. Weight is extremely important, especially later on in game when you've got to carry hundreds of metal when you unload your Quetzal. The more you spec into weight, the less trips you have to do back and forth, and this will save you a lot of time when you're unloading. Melee damage will increase how much you farm by hand, but because most of your farming will be done by dinosaurs, I don't increase it. Movement speed lets you run away or chase dinosaurs or players, unload quicker and generally move around faster. Fortitude makes you more resistant to heat and cold, and also getting knocked out, like if you get poisoned by a snake or a scorpion. Using points for crafting speed is pretty useless, as I've never had a situation where I wish I could build faster. Then finally Torpor just lets you know how close you are to becoming unconscious. That's the skill points I've picked but I'm on a peaceful server, so I'm able to spec heavily into weight. If you're on a normal aggressive server, then I would spec more into health, stamina and speed to keep you alive. Ok, now I'm going to go into engrams. Now if you're a single player, the devs won't give you enough points to spec into everything, so you need to save as many engram points as you can, and only spend the ones that you have on the most essential equipment. You can get engram blueprints from loot drops around the map, so when you get a blueprint you don't have to waste points specking into the engram, you just use the blueprints to craft the items you want. On items like weapons and armour, the blueprint stats can be a lot better than the normal ones you're able to craft. I'm showing you these so you get some idea of what you can get later on in game. Next I'm going to take a mind wipe and level up from 1 to 98 step by step. Remember that this is just a guide, and yours will alter depending on what items and blueprints you find. It was a long process to do this, and I had to record it on the fly, as I had to work out and choose which ones I'd go for. I might sound a bit bored, but I was just concentrating. Okay, um, use uh, Mind Wipe. That's put me down to level 1, with no engrams. I'm going to do this level by level to show you which way I'd do it first. So I'm going to put one point into health. First of all, I want a hatchet. Second, to cut down trees. Then I want a spear to defend himself. That leaves two points left, and I can't get anything from that. Next, into health again. Next, I want a fire to cook the meat that I've killed the dinos from. I've uh, got seven points, so I'm going to go for clothing. Gives you added protection when fighting dinos and protects you from the elements. Point into health. Right. You'll be exploring, so you may need water skin. You should be able to kill dinos with your spears, so you can explore further inland. Plus, I've got three points left, so I'm gonna give myself a bit more armor. Point in health. Pardon me. Right, at this stage, you may want to be taming a dino, so I'd go for a club so you can knock them out quicker. Or just knock them out and run away if you've been attacked. Four points left. You'll need more armor when you're taming, so you go for that. At this point, you'll still be moving around and try and find somewhere to build a base. Uh, you should have a few items, so I'm going to go for weight this time. Okay, 
you should have some hide from killing dinos, so I'm going to have a sleeping bag. Because it's likely you will die and I'll take you back to where your stuff is. Six points, so I'm going to finish getting the cloth. And then I'm going to start with a foundation. Because we should be building a house by now. I'm going to put another point into weight. So we want doorways. We're going to start building our thatch hut. Walls. Uh, two points left. Can't get the door yet. I'll leave the reef for last. Uh, stamina. Because you need to might need to run and farm materials. Right. I'll go for the door next. That will let you build a walled uh, thatch house. We've got seven points. You could try and go for a raptor with a slingshot, but it's a bit risky. Uh, what I'm going to do is finish off enclosing the hut. We've got four points left. I would go for a box next, but I can't do it. So I'm going to go for health again. Use six points for a box. Now you can store everything you've collected. You should have built your hut by now. Uh, I'm going to put a simple bed. I can't because it's level. needs six points. Eight even. Just looking at what rest we can do. I want to go for a slingshot. To shoot different animals, uh, maybe a raptor, but it's still a bit risky at this point. Next, I'm going to go for health again. This time I'm going to go for bed, so you spawn back at your hut when you die every time, uh, as the sleeping bag's only one use and then it vanishes. I'm going to miss out this saddle because that's a bit useless to be honest. And I've got four points. I've got my box so I don't need weight so badly now. I want to go for more stamina. So you'll have meat that's starting to go off. Uh, you want to turn this into narcotics, so pick a mortar and pestle, learn, and I'll go for narcotics as well. This will give you a lot of XP by making these. Remember that this is just a guide, and you can select the engrams that you need the most at the time. Next, I'm going to go for movement speed just to run a bit faster right let's look what else we can build you can get XP by making spark powder next for your essentials you don't need slope thatch roofs they're more cosmetic than actual use uh, what I'm gonna go for is a bowler, so I can bring down larger dinosaurs and actually tame a good one. You should be able to get a raptor with this, plus trike, if you don't already have one. Uh, gives me five points left. Give it a miss. Go to the next point. I'm going to... 
I'm going to go for speed. Again. Outrun the dinosaurs. So I've got 17 points this time. That brings me down to here. Uh, I'm going to go for stimulant just to get the XP from making it. You don't really need gunpowder at this stage because you can't really make guns or cementing paste. Uh, you don't need compass. I've got 11 points and the first dinosaur I want to tame is a parasaur. That'll let, I'm going to put my building materials into that and carry stuff around to help me build quicker. Next, I'm going to go for more weight, because I'm a bit low down. That's the important ones up to now. So, we're going to go on to wooden building. Foundation and the wall. Point to health. Wooden doorway. Wooden door. And wooden ceiling, which I can't do yet. Point to health. Okay, I'm going to save my points and go for the bow next. Because with it you can bring down a raptor pretty easily. I'm going to go for the weight. Right, I'm going to go for the bow and arrows. The next big one I want is narco arrows. That's at level 20. We've got 8 points, but I would go for a raptor as soon as you can so you can get lots of meat. Going for a bit more speed. I'm going to go for... A large storage box, so I can keep more items in your wooden base. And I want to go for a raft, because you get a huge amount of XP for creating these. If you keep making them, it'll boost you up really quickly. Next, I'm going to go for more stamina. Right, definitely go for the Raptor saddle, because once you do that then you can make yourself loads of food and you won't be starving all the time, but just getting loads and loads of meat. Only got three points left, so time to put some more points in. Crafting speed's pretty useless. Fortitude's good to stop you getting cold. Put a point in that. If you can get the materials to get a spyglass, uh, learn the engram. But if not, uh, I wouldn't bother. I'll get wooden spikes to protect my hut. The fishing rod is okay to use but the bait's going to be a nightmare for you to get. You can't get tree sap because the tap's a lot further down and leech blood would be a nightmare for a beginner to get in case you get swamp fever. So I'm going to miss that off. 
next thing I'm going to go for is a refining forge. So I can get metal. Well, metal ingots to make metal tools. But with my points remaining, I'm going to go for a trank arrow. With these, you'll definitely be able to trank a raptor or going for a carno. Some more points into weight. The next item I'm going to go for is a preservation bin. This will keep your meat longer, so you don't have to always keep going out and getting meat, which is a real pain. But to get it to run, you need spot powder, which we've already learnt. I've got nine points left, so I'm going to start specking into hide armor. Some more stamina. The first proper harvesting dino I'd get is a trike, so you'll need the saddle. We've only got four points left, so time to put another point in. I'm going to go for the window. At this stage you can start upgrading to stone, or get the rest of the hide armour, or you could start growing crops. I'm going to go for hide armour, because my base should be fairly well hidden, so I don't have to upgrade to stone, just yet anyway. Next I'm going to go for cementing paste, gunpowder because that will become essential later. Just look into what I need to spec the most. And I'm getting metal tools straight away. so I can gather more resources. Next I'm going for the smithy. So we're going to build most of my tools on. make dies. You should find paintbrushes and green drops uh, and you can use those to paint your house black so people can't see it. But if not you can learn the engram. The last nine points I'm going to get the hide hat. And finish off the rest of the final set. That should keep me warm in case I go to a cold area. Got 
fortitude up more in case I go to a cold area. Next I'm going to start specking into crop plots as that's your first stage towards kibble. so I can hide in forests and have no water pipe trail down to the river that way people can't hi uh, find you and I want a compost bin so I can give my crops fertilizer with a small crop plot learnt I'm able to learn the medium one At this stage I want to upgrade my trike to a stego, so I'm going to go for this saddle. I think that's all the starting essentials covered, so I'm going to start upgrading my base to stone. Slopes and the railings are more for show instead of practicality. Stone gateway. That will keep the dinosaurs safe in the doorway. Large crop plots have now unlocked. So I'll just upgrade and then get one of those. And I can put X plants around my base and protect it. I'm going to finish upgrading to stone. Before I get anything of value.
and the trapdoor. So we've got hide armor to keep you warm and a stone base to keep your stuff safe. What I uh, would concentrate on now are the dinosaurs. I'd get a pterodon so you can scout around, see who's around you and move around quicker. You can get this sooner and I'd probably advise you to get it as soon as it becomes available. Next we want farming dinosaurs. So first we'll need is a dodec. This will bring all your stone in which is an absolutely essential dinosaur. Try to go for these dinosaurs as soon as they're available. They'll help you level up and build your base quicker. We can't get a beaver yet, so... I would say go for the mammoth. That was the best dinosaur to gather wood. I just need to get extra points. And the ankylo is essential as well. So we've got metal, flint, plus wood, thatch. That's an awesome dino. Mammoth to get wood and the dodec to get stone. If you're on a PvP server and you're getting picked up and dropped all the time, a parachute is good to go for. But you get a lot of those in loot drops. You should have a good stone base going by now, so let's back into stuff that protects that. I'm gonna go for metal spikes. More fortitude because we'll be going to cold areas. If you don't have a crossbow from loot drops, I'd definitely spec into one because I prefer them over bows. Plus, you can shoot underwater. Next, we want to build a long neck rifle to protect ourselves and shoot down enemy birds. So, you'll need a flare gun to start with. You've already learnt the gunpowder. You'll also need a scope, and you'll have to learn the spyglass to acquire that. Plus a spyglass is really essential to spot who's friendly and who's not, and what level dinosaurs are. You get a lot of scopes from drops, so I wouldn't learn it unless you have to. But it is pretty essential to have it on a long neck rifle, but I'll need some more points to do that. I need its bullets. So I can shoot people and birds. You've got just about everything you need Stone Age now, so we're going to move to metal. if that's unlocked anything else. I want to build a strong metal base before I put any of my important items in like the grill and the fabricator. Get 
doorway. Need the door next. Actually, we'll go for the pillars, but we need more points again. so it can be nice and closed. I'm also going to go for the hatchway. Shut the door to close that. You can leave the metal pipes because you don't need that right now. And I'm going to go for the metal dino gateway and doors to keep the dinosaurs safe in the building. it. I can now build myself a metal strong box base. I'll have plant explant turrets to protect me with metal spikes. So I can now start filling it. Get a fabricator, but I just need more points. Polymer electronics. You might want to think about upgrading your carnivore. Maybe to a carno. So you can get more meat in. You can also think about getting yourself a frog. So you can get more cementing paste. And chit in. Not chitin. Because it's spelled differently. I refuse to say it. <laughs> if you can't find wild beaver dams to get paste. Taking the toad out is the next best option. This will bring you lots of meat in as well, while you go around killing dragonflies. I'm going to go for a bookshelf because it'll give you a lot of XP to build it. Plus, you should have collected a lot of blueprints by now. Just get some more points. Get yourself an Argent saddle as soon as it's available. Because with it you can transport all your mining materials around a lot quicker than you can do by land. That's definitely one of the best creatures to get. Get more points. One of the vital bits of equipment you'll need is a refrigerator. So I'm going to learn that, but obviously you'll need a power generator and electrical cables to go with it. So I'll just get some more points.
notes. You can get these later on in blueprints if you don't actually have them, so you can do another mind wipe later on. Only spec into these if you haven't got the blueprints. Just get myself some more points. Okay. A Quetzal, again, is one of the most important creatures you can get. Because you can harvest a huge amount of mining materials with it. Well, carry a huge amount of mining materials. And fly them back to your base and build it a lot quicker. And we're also onto the big carnivores. So, again, you're going to be limited with the amount of engram points you get as a single player. The Spino is better than the Rex, but the Spino needs vastly amount of more narcotics and is harder to tame than the Rex, so I'd just go for the Rex. Next I'm going to go for auto turrets, but we need an assault rifle to go backwards, and we're going to need advanced bullets for the auto turret. Now we can fortify our base with this. Build a few of these and put them around it. Because you've got a bigger dinosaur to protect now, you might want to start expanding your base. So I'm going to do wooden foundations, put some points, then go for stone foundations, then with your base expanded you can now have a bronto With your auto turrets, you can now build an industrial grill as it be safe inside. You don't want to build it, then people breaking in and destroy it. That'd be a huge waste of resources. You will get flak armor later on in blueprints, so it's entirely up to you if you build it or not. You could spec into it and then take a mind wipe later on when you've got the blueprints, like I did. But for now I'm just going to leave flak armor. You need an industrial grill to make lots of kibble. With your metal base, I would next go for a vault. To keep all your valuable stuff safe. Some more points. Oh. 
You can make do without an elevator. I'm going to go for Trank Dart. There's a more potent of arrows. Now I've got enough points to upgrade to get a beaver saddle. So I can get wood better than I would do with a mammoth. When you get to the metal and tech stage, you'll need pearls. And one of the best ways to do that is by getting a dolphin. So you can get them from the ocean. I've left it a bit late to get that, but you can spec into it sooner if you want. As you've got a Bronto, you'll need a Behemoth Gate to let it out of your base. I'm level 70 at the moment, and at this stage it's up to you what you want to spec in. If you don't already have the blueprints, I would go for... Compass, so you can get the GPS. Just find it. So you know where you are all the time and find locations on the map. There you go. Parachute if you haven't already found loads from loot drops. Because if people pick you up and drop you, you'll keep dying. You could save your life of it. A pike, but you should have found a few by now. Fibre will start getting scarce, so I would tame a bear. Later on a canteen is essential, but you'll need the water hide, the water jar, and finally the canteen. You should find lots of weapon attachments, but if you haven't got one already, learn the scope. When I had my stealth base, the only light I had at night was by my pistol. So if you haven't found any pistol blueprints or pistols, learn that and the flashlight. But again, you get lots of weapon attacks. So you shouldn't really need to. Next I'm going to go for the grinder to break down useless stuff I don't need. The air conditioner is handy if you get too hot or too cold. Plus you'll need it if you're breeding dinosaurs because you have to incubate the eggs. You'll need to spec into scuba gear because we're not specking any points into oxygen. And to do that we'll need a metal reservoir. to move faster underwater but 
You can get away without the legs, even though it keeps you more insulated. I'm going to go for that. When you start heavily getting into kibble, you'll need the saddles to move the dinosaurs around. And it's then up to you which ones you actually spec into. But you will find a lot of dinosaur saddle blueprints. Since we can't put plants or turrets on platforms anymore, the platform saddles have become less useful. The only one I'd really go for is a Quetzal platform. With your base well defended, you might want to build a greenhouse, as you can get a lot more kibble, because it's easier to grow crops. You should have some good dinosaurs now, and quite a few of them, so I'm going to spec into the tracker so you don't lose any. Next I'm going to go for the industrial cooker, because it's really good for making kibble. and then the Quetzal platform. You can get away without using a riot armour. Even though you can't put turrets on a Quetzal anymore, you can still armour it and stop it getting killed. You might have been attacked or wanting to attack somebody, so what I'm going to go for is the C4. To get the C4 I need to learn grenades, an improvised device. So I've learnt the lesser explosive so I can learn the C4. The industrial forge is a must get. It hugely increases the amount of metal you get. because that will bring a huge amount of prime meat in for you. Next I want the chemistry bench but I need to learn the beer, beer barrel. This will make it much easier to make paste. Now even though you can't put turrets on Quetzal platforms, you can put man turrets. So I'm going to put a mini gun on mine. Catapult. There's a catapult. And of course you can always place them around your base to defend it. And I need the blister. Points. Takes me up to ninety two. Catapult. Minigun turret. I 
would say that's the essentials. And with my leftover points, which we'll see how many I get. 694 That takes me up to 98 So I've got 420 to go So what I'm going to go for is Rocket turret, another rocket launcher, rocket propelled grenades, another rocket turret. If you want to dominate the sea, I would get a Mosasaurus saddle. So you can get your Mosas. Then you can turn that into a platform. But you might need a bigger sea dino, like a Plesio before that. Because obviously we're jumping from a dolphin to a mosasaur, which is a bit of a huge jump. I like the compound bow, so I'll learn that. I would get the grappling hook, because you need that to, t uh, to tame a quetzal. If you're by yourself. We skip the flap calm on this video because I'll get the blueprints later on. But it's up to you if you wanted to spec into it. I'd get a metal ram. The ammo for the pistol. Even though I don't particularly like the pistol. Like I say, it's just for a flashlight. That's all the essentials I would get. I'll now go over other items I would like, but haven't got the points for. Again, this is just a rough guide and be determined on whatever blueprints you have. For the items you're missing, you're just going to have to make friends on the server. If you don't find any paintbrushes, you're going to have to spec into it to paint your house. Flags are good to decorate your base. You'll need to spec into chairs if you want to go fishing. Cages if you want to capture prisoners. Rope ladders are good if you've got a tree house. Again, you can use a bench to go fishing. Spiral staircase I've managed to get away without using for now, so I don't really need it. Bug repellent is useful to stop insects attacking you. A feeding trough is needed later on when you've got lots of dinosaurs so you can feed them all at once. And obviously you'll need a fishing rod if you want to go fishing later. If you get swamp fever you must spec into the lesser antidote. Handcuffs are good if you want to capture prisoners, if somebody raids you and you want to get revenge, but not if you troll people, because that's very bad. Don't do that, people. You'll need a fur armour if you're planning to spend a lot of time in the snow area. The bear traps, the man traps and the larger ones are very good. If somebody raids you around a dinosaur and step on it, they'll get thrown off. Blisters are okay, but the bolt's got a really bad drop-off arc. I wouldn't use them myself. You'll have to spec into the chitin armour if you want to go for the metal. Obviously you'll need a tree platform if you plan to build in a redwood area. You'll need a tap to get sap to go fishing, but leech blood is better and it's more diverse as all the fish go for it. With poison grenades you can knock out raiding dinosaurs and players, which is good, I would use. 
You'll need re-fertiliser if somebody's knocked down over trees around your base and you want to hide it. The ghillie armour, maybe if you're sniping or taming an ape. Fleck armour, if you haven't got a blueprint, definitely spec into it and learn it. Because that's the main armour I always use. If you're going for your industrial cooker, you'll need a constant supply of water for it, so I would spec into metal pipes. You do find lamp blueprints as loot rewards, but if you don't find any, do spec into it, because you'll need light at night. Behemoth gates are very expensive, but if you've got a metal base, you'll need them to let your big dinosaurs out. Or you can use my elevator trick and get the dinosaurs in and out without using those gates. The bunk beds, yes I would spec into them, because they're better than a simple bed. Then if you're doing a tree base you'll need to upgrade to the metal platform. The spray painter is very handy if you want to cover your base quickly. The elevators are good to get around but they do cost a lot. A sniper rifle you can get away without it but it is quite useful so if you're in a two I'd get the other person to spec into it. And finally if you're going down to the swamp cave you'll need to spec into these so you don't get poisoned. If you've seen my video on how I did it with scuba gear you can do it but it is a bit of a pain. The gas mask is more preferable. Well that's it. And please remember that this is just a guide. You can choose whatever skill points or engrams you want in any order for your situation. Thanks for watching guys, and if this was helpful, please like and subscribe. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to check out other links to videos at the end, and hopefully I'll see you again. Goodbye.